Hi everyone, it's Cherie from Paper Pieces and Leftovers and today we're going to be doing a file from CuddlyCuteDesigns.com. The file itself is called Get Well Girl, but I didn't make her look like a sick little girl that the file displays. I just made her a cute little pajama girl. And I want to show what changing colors of the hair or even the pajama set can do for a single piece. It makes it look like it came from another file. You can actually use this and make a layout using the same character, just with different colors, whether it's the shirt, the pants, the shoes, etc., or the hair. So we're going to start with the neck. I found that doing it in this order from top to bottom worked out a lot easier than from my usual way with Franklin, for example, where we work from bottom to top. We're just going to reverse it to make it go a little smoother. So after you glue the neck, you're going to start with the sleeves to her pajamas. They're going to butt up against the neck and you'll feel them hit and that's how you know that they're in far enough. This was just what I went by, but you can put them in further or not as far if that's what your preference is. So besides my peach paper, which is the skin tone that I use, I got that from 12 by 12 cardstock shop and that's where all of my paper comes from. I do that one because of convenience, but two, they do have a lot more choices to pit, choose from versus um, brick and mortar businesses. My light pink paper is the color Fussy by Basil. Her purple bow is Spring Crocus, even though it looks a lot darker. That's an encore color. I went around it with a little bit darker, a brighter, I should say purple, not so much darker. It just is a lot brighter and it looks prettier. Um, I like the grape color. So the bow originally was going to go on the other girl, but since it matched the blanket, I ended up using the purple bow with the purple blanket and a pink bow with a pink blanket just to kind of tie the colors in together a little bit more. So after you get your sleeves on, you're going to put your pant legs on and there is no too high or too low. It's however far you want it. I tried to go halfway from the first notch in where the knee is and the top just to kind of give me a guide because there is no base to this file. And next your feet are going to go on. In my hands I was doing the display of like when people walk pigeon toed. My daughter does since the accident where the toes are going to go together. That's just the bigger part of the toe or the, the foot, the shoe, her slipper, <laughs> goes inward and the smaller part goes outward. But you could do it reverse. It's whatever you prefer and your liking because just because one of us do it one way doesn't mean it's the right way or wrong way. Now we're going to put the arms on behind the body. And the body, now keep in mind, it is a little flimsy even with a base when it's wet from uh, glue. So just keep that in mind. As it dries, it hardens, which helps stiffen up your body. I don't want to get everybody used to seeing a base because a lot of files don't have bases. I know that all the years I was with Marjorie Ann, she wished she could go back and create bases for her files, but she said that there would be no way she would spend an eternity making them. And a lot of files are Christy W. Designs. She was the designer for um, quite a few of the sites. I'm not going to say all of them, but quite a few. And she didn't always create bases. So it is a privilege to have a base and I am very thankful when a file comes with a base because it does make it easier for me to do videos to teach you guys. Not that I always use it, but it does make it a lot simpler for beginners. I love Tammy. I love her designs. She does own Cuddly Cute Designs. And I did struggle with bases for a while and she did reach out to me and gave me an easier way to make them. And it's importing the finished piece but I found that if I don't want it in that exact position, it does make it a little more difficult because, for instance, the blanket has to be in that exact way she's holding it versus higher, lower, further in, outward, etc. You guys get it. So it's whatever's going to work for you. Find what works for you. Don't forget to get your free files. And one thing I wanted to point out, put that hand in between the blanket where it's folded over. But any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching, guys.